Hi everyone, welcome back. Today we're going to create a low poly palm tree. Let's take a look. So this is what we'll be making today and we'll be using a couple of Maya's deformers to help us shape the tree trunk and leaf. It'll be a lot of fun, so let's jump right in. All right, go to your poly modeling shelf and add a cylinder into the scene. Next, press T on the keyboard to bring up this window and I'm going to change the subdivision axis to six. Perfect. Now press W to go into your move tool. We want to move this pivot to the bottom. So I'm going to hold down D then V, drag this arrow down, let go. Now it's sitting at the bottom. Next, I want to snap it to the origin. So I'm going to hold down X, drag this arrow up, and there we go. It's sitting on our grid now. Um, press R to go into your scale tool. I'm just going to scale it up a little bit and then resize it. And that should do quite nicely. Okay, um, go into your multi-cut tool, so it's up here, or you can use um, Maya's marking menu. Hold down Shift, right mouse button, multi-cut. And I'm gonna hold down Control, and then just add a loop right about here. All right, now let's go to edge mode. So hold down the right mouse button. This brings up the component modes. Choose edge. I'm gonna double click this edge and press R to go into scale. I'm just going to scale this out a bit. All right, that should do for the shape. And now what I want to do is um, delete the faces at the top and the bottom. So I'm going to go into face mode. And I'm just going to box select these faces and hopefully grab the bottom ones as well. I did. Perfect. Delete those. And the way we created this is really nice because these vertices sitting on this top edge loop and the bottom are in the same X and Z coordinates. So we'll be able to stack this. I'll show you how that works. Go into object mode, select your mesh, um, press W to go into your move tool. And what we're gonna do is press Control D and then hold down V, drag this arrow up, and wherever your mouse uh, cursor is hovered over, it'll snap to that vertex, right? We wanna snap to this one. Perfect. And before you do anything else, hold down Shift and press D a few times to duplicate with transform. All right, I think that looks pretty good. I'm gonna go with this for the length of our palm tree. We need to take into account though that it's going to curve, right? So now let's select everything. We're going to combine this. And then it's combined it, but these vertices aren't actually merged. So if I go into vertex mode, you can see up here under the um, polygon display, there's two verts there. If you don't have this display window, it's under display, um, heads up display and poly count. All right. What we want to do now is while in vertex mode, select all these vertices, go to edit mesh and merge. You may need to adjust the threshold depending on the size of your mesh. But now if we zoom in, select that vertex, we can, oh, I selected two there, select this vertex and you can see that there's one there. There you go. All right, let's go into object mode and bend this. Actually, before we bend it, let's give it a bit, a bit of a taper. So select the mesh, and what we're going to do first is I'm going to open up the channel box. We have some history here. I'm going to delete that history, and then go up to Deform. Under this option Lattice, open that option box up. And what I want to do is uh, change the divisions to two in the X, two in the Y, and two in the Z. I'm going to click Create, and now we have this Lattice box. And if I hold down the right mouse button, and go to lattice point, we can basically, um, let me just show you what the la how, how the lattice works, is that we can move the point and it moves the mesh proportionally, right? So now we can grab all these points at the top, scale it in, and we can taper the entire um, length of the tree. There you go. Uh, I'm gonna go with something like this. Once you're done, just select your mesh using um, Maya's component mode, right? Um, sorry, Maya's marking menu to get to object mode. Select the mesh, delete that history, because if we don't, let me just show you what happens. If we just um, delete the lattices, right, it'll return to normal, right? We just want to select mesh, delete history, there we go. And now let's give this a bit of a curve. We're going to use this uh, deformer up here called curve warp, and for the curve warp, we'll need a curve. So what I'm going to do is go into the side view, and um, 
enable uh, x-ray mode, right? Turn that on so that you can see through your mesh. And what we're gonna do is use um, the CV curve tool. So go to create C uh, curve tools, CV curve tool, and just click on the viewport. It'll start laying down points and you wanna draw out um, essentially what you want the, sh the curve of your palm tree to be, All right? When you're done, you can just press enter. And if you wanna adjust any curve points, just hold down the right mouse button, find a curve point and you can just move it. There you go. I think that looks fine. I'm gonna go back into the perspective view. And now what I wanna do is select the mesh and delete that history. Same thing here, if you just delete the curve, it's just going to um, return to normal. We don't want that. Uh, actually, I, we didn't, I didn't even curve it yet. I'm getting ahead of myself, select the mesh, select the curve, um, go to deformer and curve warp. There we go. And then to the over here um, under curve warp, if you wanted to follow the entire length of the curve, just turn off keep length, right? And what I was saying earlier is that now if you delete the curve, without deleting the history first, it will return to normal. That was a, what I was trying to say. Um, select the mesh now, just delete that history. All right, and the th last thing I wanna do with this is I just wanna close off the top here. So I'm gonna go into edge mode, double click this edge. I'm gonna hold down R to go into my scale tool, hold down shift to do a smart extrude, extrude that in a bit, and then go to mesh, sorry, edit mesh, merge to center. There we go. That'll close that off for us. All right, now let's hide this mesh and work on the leaf. So select that mesh, pressing H on the key. Oh, actually, let's get rid of this curve. And let's see if we have any history. Just gonna delete this history. And then I'm going to press H on the keyboard to hide. All right, now um, add a plane into the scene. And we're going to use this to make our leaf. So press T on the keyboard. And for subdivision width, I'm going to give it um, one for now. And then for height, I'm going to make that about five. All right, I'm going to go into the top view to make it a little bit easier. And what I want to do is turn on symmetry in um, the X axis, so that's horizontally. Go up here, symmetry, object X. Then I'm going to go into vertex mode and start shaping out my leaf. Go and you just want to start blocking out this essentially what a low poly leaf might look like. Let's move this down here a bit. There we go. And then I'm gonna press the space bar to go back to perspective. Go back to object mode and let's take a look. And now what I want to do is maybe extrude a bit of a stem as well. So I'm gonna go into edge mode. Select this edge here, press W to go to my move tool. I'm gonna to hold down shift to do a smart extrude, extrude a bit, let go, hold down shift again, and extrude. And that should be good for the stem. Now what we wanna do is um, add a cut down the middle. So I'm gonna go into object mode and select my multi-cut tool and get it from, to it from up here. Hold down control. I'm going to turn off symmetry. And let's turn off the grid as well. I'm going to hold down control and middle mouse click. That'll put it right in the middle. And then what I want to do is actually go into vertex mode, mode, grab these vertices and just move them up a little bit. There we go. All right. Now um, I want to give this a bit of a curve. So what I'm going to do is select the mesh. Um, Actually, we'll go into the side view to make it a little bit easier. And we're going to use the same method we did with the palm tree, basically drawing out the curve of the leaf with the curve tool and then using the curve deformer. So let's go to create curve tools, CV curve tool. And then you just want to draw out. Um, if you lay down a point and you don't like it, just press delete so you don't have to uh, start over. And I'm just going to create this. I'm happy with that shape. And then let's go back to the perspective view. Right. Uh, this curve looks a little bit large, so I'm just going to scale that down a little bit. All 
There we go. And then what I'm going to do is select the mesh. I'm going to select the curve, deform, curve warp. And then with this one, what I want to do is, I don't even know if scale on that curve did anything, but what I'm going to do is for the keep length, I'm just going to uncheck that. And then now we have a pretty good looking low poly leaf. Let's select our leaf or pretty good looking uh, low poly palm leaf shape. Let's select the leaf, delete that history. Um, now we can get rid of this curve. So I'm just going to um, delete this curve. And then let's reverse these normals. Right now they're facing towards the bottom. So I'm gonna to go to Mesh Display Reverse. And now before I um, extrude this, what I wanna do is um, make a couple variations. So I'm gonna select this, press Control D, move a copy aside, and I'm going to put a few cuts to simulate where the leaves are separating. So let me show you how that works. Select your object, let's grab the multi-cut tool and I'm going to put maybe a cut right here. Just press enter when you're done and maybe a cut right here as well. Now I'm going to go into face mode. Take these two faces and just delete them. Perfect. And then with this one, I'm going to do the same thing just in a different area. This is where I can find my last tool used. All right with this one, maybe I'll put a cut up here. And maybe one over here. And again, going into face mode, selecting those faces, pressing delete. And now let's extrude our leaves. So um, let's go into object mode, select our mesh, open up our modeling toolkit, click this extrude button, and let's just give it a bit of thickness. I'm gonna go with maybe um, 0.04. And then for this one, I'll do the same thing. All right. And then what I want to do is maybe merge the vertices at the tip of the leaf. So I'm going to select the mesh, go to vertex mode, select these vertices, edit mesh, merge to center. And the same thing with this one. I can just press G to repeat my last action. There we go. And maybe I'll do the same with the, um, the ends here as well. G to repeat, G to repeat. All right. And now we have a couple leaves. Let's, um, let's see here. We have some history, but it doesn't really matter with this. What I'm gonna do is bring back the grid and bring back our palm tree. I'm gonna press H to unhide it. And now what I wanna do is just maybe, um, let's take a look at these leaves. So I want to move the pivot point to the end there. So I'm going to select this leaf, press W to go to my move tool. I'm going to hold down D, then V. Hover my, uh, my cursor over the middle, drag it to the end. And the same thing with this one. And now what I want to do is um, select the leaf, um, go into my move tool. I'm just going to snap it to the top here and start arranging it. I'm gonna take this one, put it up as well. Um, and I have a couple variations, and depending how long this takes me, I may fast forward this part, but I'm just going to arrange the leaves at the top to make it look more like a palm tree. All right, looks pretty good. Let's give our um, trees some coconuts. So for this part, what I'm going to do is just use a platonic solid, this one up here, and I'm gonna open up the attribute editor. And for this, I'm gonna keep it really simple. I'm gonna to go to the polyplatonic one tab and change the um, icosahedron to cube. And this will be my coconut. And there we go. All right, I have some materials I had from earlier, so I'm just going to assign it to this and take a look. So, selecting the leaves, 
holding down the right mouse button, I'm assigning an existing material. These are just Lambert, so really nothing special. But they'll give us a look, a preview of what it can look like. And for this one, do that. There we go. And the last thing we want to do is just maybe turn off this wireframe on shaded. And I'm going to select everything and just harden these edges. So, mesh display, harden edge. And there we go. Here is our low poly palm tree, which uh, didn't take as much time. And we learned some new tools that really can be applied to a lot of other objects. So, all right. That concludes our tutorial on how to create a low poly palm tree. And hopefully the techniques in today's video can help you with your modeling projects as well. We'll see you in the next video. Until next time, this has been Digital Dreambox, your destination for game art.